Because inventory is so tight in resales, we have very few resales on the market. We're almost forced to find what we can in this tightening uh, market for properties here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Today, I'm actually out at the Lake Club in a model home from Stock Luxury Homes. And this particular model behind me is actually available for sale now as a leaseback. So it will come fully furnished just the way we see when we go inside. And the price point on this is gonna be just a little over $2 million. So somebody that might wanna buy a house now, not be ready to move into it, get an instant return on their investment, I'm gonna have all the details coming right up. Which looks better, one or two? Two or three? Three or four? Four or five? For a complete checkup, see your local realtor. Hey, it's Mark Famig, Michael Saunders and Company. And if you get value out of the information that I provide on this channel, Living in Lakewood Ranch, just click that little subscribe button and ding the little bell so every time I put on a new video, you'll be notified. Today, we're out here at the Lake Club and I wanted to go through this model with you. Now, the Lake Club is located just east of UTC Mall on University Parkway. And I came here from downtown Lakewood Ranch so we'll see a little fast forward video about how we uh, drove out here and got here to the community. So it's really only about, I don't know, maybe a five or six, seven minute drive to get into Lake Club from downtown Lakewood Ranch. So let's take a look at this house for just a minute. So this home is called the Muirfield Nine. How they come up with these names, I'm not really sure, but anyway. That's what this is called, the Mirrorfield Nine. So this is a three bedroom, four and a half bath home, and it has about 3,561 square feet. So as soon as you enter, you get a huge feeling of volume. There's just tremendous ceiling height in here. These ceilings are probably 16 feet. I'll verify and put the uh, size in the description below. It has a very nice wide opening. And of course you see directly out the uh, four sliders that go out onto the pool area. Now this model will be sold just as you're seeing it here all the decorations, all the light fixtures, pictures, furniture. So you have a formal living room there. Great room here. Very nice ceiling detail, great lighting. This island is almost as square as it is long, as uh, almost a square island. Microwave oven combination. Very nice color coordination with the cabinets. Stainless apron sink. Nice little breakfast nook here. So back here in this corner, you're gonna have a bedroom and an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet with the uh, pocket sliders for the doors. Down the hallway, you have a exit entry here to the pool area. So this is gonna serve as the door to the pool bath. 
So you actually have a full bathroom here. And then it opens up into a very nice large bonus room with a beverage cooler there. I have this sofa set up. Seems like there'd be a TV on that wall, but I guess you can just stare at that ocean picture. And then you have another set of sliders. These are all impact resistant sliders that exit out onto the pool that overlooks the lake. Hey, just want to take a minute here and let you know that in the description below, there's a link to the Lakewood Ranch Guide. And if you'd like to get a copy of that, it shows all the 22 uh, new home communities, uh, what their amenities are in those communities, and also a map. It's a great resource, and if you'd like to have one, just click on that link and I'll be glad to get one out to you. On the front side of the kitchen, there's another bedroom. A set of bypass doors to a reach in closet, and another ensuite bathroom. This home also features a separate room for the laundry, washer, dryer, and stainless sink, cabinetry, and backsplash. This house does have a three car garage. It's already got the epoxy finish on the floor. And there is a gas hot water heater over here in the corner. Looks like it's also serving as a coat rack. This video tour is a little better than the previous ones because we actually have light. Not only do we have light, but a beautifully furnished home. Over here, we're not going to disturb one of the workers, but they have a very nice office area in here. Set of barn door sliders on that office for privacy. And a half bath here. So that's where the half bath comes in on the four and a half. So you have a little coffee bar here for the master suite. Very nice dual vanities. Walk-in shower. Great tub. Another vanity on that side. This is your linen closet. Then you actually have two walk-in closets here for the master suite. And of course, again, I would change this out and put a custom closet system in there to make it much more efficient use of space. And then this is the other closet. People fight over who gets the big one, so that's the big one. And then here is the master suite. And like I said, this is gonna be fully furnished is going to come just as you see it here. And then you have the view to the outside. So let's take a look if we can get out this door to the pool area. That is a beautiful pool. Nice lake view in the background. They got a hot tub spa in the center there. Very large uh, covered area in the lanai. They have a nice tile job on the fireplace.
And what I like is you have these 10 foot sliders here and then you have the windows with the set of transoms to balance it out so you get equal amount of light in there. And then a great outdoor kitchen. And I love the tile work here on the backsplash or on the underside of the cabinet which also coordinates with that on the fireplace and the TV wall. And a great view to the outside area. Let me go over some of the fees for you. The CDD fees in here are going to about, run about $2,854 a year, and then you're going to have about $684 uh, for your um, homeowners association, of which $100 of that is included for the club fees. Now, on a leaseback model, uh, if this house is just a little over $2 million, they're going to subtract out the uh, furniture package, which I think was about $180,000, and then whatever that balance is, they're going to pay you 4% a year uh, in a monthly income for the lease back and then they'll also have an option for a six month extension and then maybe one more six month extension and that can be negotiated at time of contract you could say hey I don't want any more than one six month extension or maybe we could negotiate it where you just have it for uh, one year but they're going to have a year minimum and usually have at least one extension so that if they need to continue to show this model during that time they can and at the end of that time, then you're going to get the home fully furnished. I hope this has been of help to you um, and just gives you a little bit more insight as to what's going on here in the Lakewood Ranch area. And remember, just click that little subscribe button and ding the little bell so anytime I put up another video, uh, you get notified. And if you want to, you can put comments in the section down below. I'll be glad to. Uh, send you uh, responses as I see them pop up and I can also put a link on there for any brochures um, for Lake Club if you're interested and maybe want some brochures I'll put a link there where I'll mail them out to you. So I appreciate your uh, patronage. This is Mark Baymig, Michael Saunders.